future. Talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. That's my name, Pandora Box. It was really clever. It took me minutes to come up with the title of the show. <laughs> but do people know your middle name? Um, <laughs> do I don't it. know. It's a little bit uh, Olivia. Get it? P.O. Box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Moving dumb. on. Let's move on so fast. We're both wearing blue. It's like the blue show. I know. So nice. Blue background. Smells like Christmas in here, though. Today, I'm highly offended. I farted. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think the show before time had of a year, pine I tree. have Christmas farts. Oh, Christmas farts. Oh, Christmas farts. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> See, I celebrate Christmas by watching The Exorcist. What was that? Was that a pop pop noise? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I heard it. <laughs> I heard that, too. Like, Sound engineer's like, I don't know. Well, I guess your ass has something to say today. <laughs> it's like, my... <laughs> it's very Jasmine. I, I know I was going to make a Jasmine joke, but I didn't I know. know how to make it without <laughs> being really <laughs> insulting. Oh, and you she never stopped when she you was on last week, right? She yeah, was. I love she her. was hilarious. Great show. <laughs> Great show. Good times. Good, Good times. times. So, yeah. Hi, Pandora Box. Hi. And Samantha Hill. Oh, pretty, yeah. lovely, and lavender. <gasps> oh, I got a pretty and a lovely. I was going to say oh pretty, God. but then I was like, oh, wait, it, lovely and lavender. It all flows up the tongue. Lovely, lovely lavender lesbian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're, what, two minutes into the show, and we've got the lesbian reference. I am wearing, like, a poncho know. or something, so I guess <laughs> I guess you could. It's very B. Arthur. It's awful. With, <laughs> with the pendant, too. Like, oh, my God, it so is. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, I'm fine with that. I, do, I don't care either. I love it. Oh, my God. Did I tell you my B. Arthur story about when I was a little kid? I met her. My, my great aunt, <laughs> she was uh, friends with her, and she was over at the house one day, and I remember like running around the side of the house and I ran like right smack into her and she was like, hello, little girl. And I started crying hysterically because <laughs> I was so scared. I hid behind my dad and he tells me that story or he did all the time. You know, see, it's because you're a little straight girl. If a little <laughs> gay boy met her, <laughs> like, hello, oh little boy, you'd be like, oh, God, God, is that you? <laughs> I knew God was a woman, kind of. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Can you imagine being two years old and looking up at B. Arthur? Oh. I mean, that's a that's a large lady, you know. Well, yeah, five nine five nine in stocking feet is what she would always say. Oh wow. So tall for a lady. Yeah. But yeah, uh, but especially she looked taller because the other ladies on the show <laughs> were a little bit shorter. Very short. It yeah. still blows my mind that Estelle Getty was younger than her. I know, younger than that's everybody. Crazy. Crazy. It's the glasses and the hair, I tell you. It's crazy talk. I know. I don't know. It's Mama. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a huge. It's uh, a geek tastic week. You know, Star Wars. <gasps> That's right. It's coming out. It came out. Came out. That's right. Did you see the pictures from the, from the premiere? They compared it to like nineteen. You know, when it originally came out. Yeah. And then here, it's cuts really cool to see. It's really cool to see all of them together. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Did you nerd out so hard? Have you? No, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I want to see it, but I'm not really like. I think I have to burp. That's why I keep looking at you. Okay, I'm like, why? I'm like, sh she's either lost her train of thought or her ass is trying to speak <laughs> no, I was again. Like, <laughs> um, no, I just don't like <laughs> big, huge crowds of annoying people like texting and screaming out things or kids. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'd like to see it in the theater, but not on one of like the busy, busy nights. Yeah, no, it it is out, right? It's out. Is that? Yeah, yeah. I've totally lost my nerd card. No, I, I feel like know. they had the premiere here and um. On Monday and shut okay. down like uh, half of Hollywood, Hollywood. Yeah, of course. But yeah, I know it's out because there were show times listed. So I think you know people right. camped out to see it at midnight. And I mean, I guess, and they're probably all dressed up and everything. The early reviews are good. So yeah, well, that's good. I'm excited. That's good. I'll see it. 
My boyfriend has never seen the Star Wars movies, so I'm like, well, oh, we'll good. start with four through six, and we'll skip the other three. Oh, good. Ian and I can sit in the back and <laughs> be like, what's happening? Why? I don't know. Why are they fighting the stars? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that guy only go? <laughs> Chewy, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. I got one right. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are those druids gay? <laughs> <laughs> was Warwick Davis in the original? Was he a, an Ewok or something? He, we were in the thing. yes, in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, see, I know that. See, oh, wait, I know no, something. I think he was actually. I think he was R two D two too. He played that. He so was cool. inside the the. Um, see, I the love droid. Willow and I love Leprechaun and all that, of course. So I know that. I think it was. War- I might be wrong on that though, but don't quote me on the. No, no, no. It was Kenny Davis who was another. Oh. Um, uh, small actor. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm like, what's the per- like, what's small the, actor, big what's heart, the, big what's talent, the little people, little person, little person. He was in. He was in a lot of those '80s movies too, like Time Bandits. Like he was in the movie Time Bandits. I ever saw that one? I don't remember that one. It's a good one. It's good. I liked it. Um, oh my god! And speaking of movies, and oh shit, I, f- I wrote, didn't write down the title. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good movie. I, what no, it it's good. No, they just announced it that Netflix is making this movie with Goldie Hawn, Bette Midler, <gasps> and Diane Keaton. What? Yeah. What? What? Oh, oh. oh my God. You know, they couldn't get a First Wives Club sequel. So it has nothing to do with First Wives Club. It's just no. the three of them. No, it's the three of them. They used to be in a girl group and they had a <gasps> really bad breakup and now they have to reunite and they, they go through the whole story of everything. I'm in. And Count I'm, me in. I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I can't think of the title, but. It just came out. Well, it just they just released the information about right. it. Right, so yeah, they yeah. haven't shot it yet. Mm, no, I don't think so. No. Oh, my oh no, God. no. So there's still, there's still some. Uh, see, I'd rather camp out for that and see that at midnight <laughs> than Star Wars. I know. Let's like... ca- we can camp out on your couch because it comes out on Netflix. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. I've been on my couch for a week waiting for this movie. Oh eating pizza <laughs> with the uh, remote in hand. Where's my Goldie? Pizza. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but yeah, well, you know, they couldn't. They that was like uh, the movie made like over a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, hundred million, hundred thousand. <laughs> Woo! Wow, that movie made a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred million dollars, and uh, they 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 couldn't get a sequel made because I think they they didn't give them any kind of pay increase or anything. Oh, oh, come it's just, on! It's just how shitty they treat women in Hollywood. Come on, those are three no. It's the really top that's really what Hollywood. it was. They. If it would have been three males, they would have given them like big pay more. jumps. They weren't going to give them any more money. Oh, I'm sure Horrible Bosses too. They all made double what they made the first movie. Mm, they shouldn't because it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see it. So I I'm watched just... it because it was on the plane, and I was like, "Well, why not?" And then I was like, "Oh, why?" Oh, speaking of movies you watch on the plane. I wanted to watch something that I didn't have to be too involved because I figured I was going to fall asleep. So the ones I really wanted to watch, I was like, mm, but I'm going to fall asleep. And I'm, I don't You're know. so lucky you can sleep on planes. Did you hear that popping again? We yeah. have like a, a, a popping heckler. A ghost popper. A ghost popper. <laughs> I can't wait. It's a ghost trying to teach you how to do it properly. Oh, my God. It's probably uh, the ghost of Adam Sandler's career coming after me because <laughs> I was going to make fun of Pixels, which is an, apparently an Adam Sandler movie who they never promoted the fact that it was an Adam Sandler movie. Um, and I watched Pixels. it. It's like where these aliens come down, but they're like old arcade games because they the aliens. Wait, it's a cartoon? No, it's a real movie. But oh. the aliens that attack look like Qbert and <laughs> Pac-Man. And I'm guessing Drew Barrymore wasn't in that one. Um, what? Oh, so they they made good movies together. Fifty first. Yeah, well, like he have come on. All right, I I'm not one. Like I'm not an ageist, clearly, because I'm over twenty two. <laughs> <coughs> but there's, I think there comes a certain point where you just can't be that douchebaggy dumb character anymore. Where you come in and go, "Whoa, hey, I shouldn't be here, but I'm gonna sit here and insult you." And hey, look at your bald head. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm also going to get the hottest girl in the room. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm 50 now, but I'm still going to do, like, that's mm-hmm. really kind of, he's not, like, 20. Yeah. They can say so that, that part of it just was, it was really awkward. And Move dumb. on, Happy Madison. <clears throat> yeah, and it wasn't really, it was just, it was Oh, Happy Gilmore. Terrible. Okay, I just combined. And then I kept movies. watching it, and I was like, why am I still watching this? Because you're on a, you're trapped. You're trapped in a chair oh, in the sky, and you don't have any many friggin' options. So that's awful. why you watched it. It was really awful. Maybe straight guys liked it, but I don't know. 
I think it tanked anyway, so it was terrible. Never even heard of it. I don't know, but that just brings me to a new segment here called Sitting and Bitching. <gasps> Sitting and Bitching! <laughs> <laughs> did you make that all by yourself? I did. I made it. It's like Mick and I helped. <laughs> it's like Mr. Hanky goes to therapy. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, <laughs> I got something Speaking to of people about. being 50, I just sometimes, uh, it's bad to call them out, but if I call them out on my radio show, they don't know who I'm calling out. So yeah, because they don't know technology. But I wrote a thank you because I did the uh, little mini UK tour. I did London, Aberdeen, and Glasgow and had a great time. Thank you guys if you're listening. And a lot of people do listen to the show and said, mm-hmm. oh, tell somebody out there I love her. Oh, that's awesome. It's true, true story. So they were really fun. I mean, sometimes doing like stand up, I'm saying that in quotes, in a, <laughs> in a, in a nightclub <laughs> setting is a little tricky because you're not like I'm actually. <gasps> you don't say. I know. You're what? actually kind of like telling stories and stuff. And a lot of mine is like, so sometimes you just have to go right to the dick jokes. And that's usually what I did. But in it's a, still. <laughs> in a bar, sex yeah. sells. Yeah. Still a good time, still great crowds. But I wrote a thank you on my Facebook because I usually th- thank you people for coming out and everybody there. And somebody wrote a comment and they just like, their comment was, are you 50 yet? <gasps> <laughs> but that's kind of a compliment because they said yet. No, and I I'm mean, like, it was the okay. question. It wasn't, hey, you're definitely 50. First was, of all, you? why do you think I'm 50, even close? Like if you watch the show, <laughs> like I was nowhere near 50 when I was on it. It hasn't been like 15 years that I was on the show. Well, to you. Young people, anyone over thirty is dead. No, so. but uh, but on the other, why did you even write that on that post? Like, where did know. that? Why did that was that on that post? I'm thanking people for coming <laughs> to my show. <laughs> Are you fifty yet? Whoever that was, well done. You well know what? Done. I'd like you know to send you, you a gift basket. A Please tweet me at the Samantha Hale. <laughs> Hashtag gaping hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag shut up, bitch. Yeah, and then another <laughs> one, <laughs> another comment that um. I posted this thing on my personal Facebook page, which is still Pandora box. But, mm. um, I uh, said I, it was about uh, statistics, like what Ob- Obama has actually done for like the, the oh, I saw that. deficit and all that kind of stuff. Right. So showing that he has actually done things, unlike everybody that's racist and doesn't think he has. Sure. Um, but some gay Republican said, "Okay, oh, a famous drag queen." Of, reality star or whatever a famous drag queen no famous drag queen talking about politics is i guess this is a sign of the end of the world and i was like oh. um okay one this is just a chart and two i'm talking about the president which i think that anybody really that is in the united states has the right to talk about and right you know i wasn't delving into like hardcore politics and sir you're a gay republican which means you're self-loathing because <laughs> All of the most of the Republican candidates, or most all of them, oh, yeah, except Trump, but he's not really a candidate. Well, Trump is fixated <coughs> on others right now. They've all said that they're going to take away all gay rights, right? Like they're going to take away, you know, the right to marriage that was already given to us. Wow. What a douchebag! Wow, oh, that's I why think... I'm sitting and bitching about him. Oh, I think we'll be talking about Marco Rubio in a second. Mm-hmm. We will with our guests, mm-hmm. idiot. Yeah. Well, this person was on your page, so go end of the world on someone else's fucking page. Bye. Hashtag Bobby. Bye, bye, Felicia. Fuck off. I know, right? I was, I was trying to say it in my Scottish. Fuck off. I don't. That was not Scottish. I don't know what that was. I don't know. It was a little they sheepish. talk so fast, and it's hard to understand them. I was just like, sure. I've got. And then I had a dick in my mouth. I was just like, <laughs> I, so I don't know what I agreed to, but I was like, sure. Whoa. <laughs> You, you darling. All right. It's a lie. There were two. (laughs) (laughs) Just in your mouth? Yeah, just in my mouth. God, try a little harder next time. For the first hour. Um, But yeah, hey, so speaking of dicks, time for Man Crush. Man Crush. Ooh, it's like sizzled at the end. That's like a man on fire. Sizzle in my anus. Um, (laughs) My Man Crush is. That's there, just Taco Bell. Girl. I just posted it on my Facebook fan page. Um, it, there's a French commercial that I don't even remember. It doesn't even matter what it's about. But there was these two guys in it, and they're playing lightsabers, but it's their penises because they have glow in the dark <gasps> comms uh, on. Oh <laughs> my god! And they're so cute. I want to <laughs> play lightsabers with them. You really are a nerd. And then their dad of like, walks in or something, and they go oh, and says something French, and I'm like, I don't know. Sacre bleu, mon dieu. <laughs> 
<laughs> French toast. Oh my God, you are so the candlestick from Beauty and the Beast right now. Ah, oh. <laughs> be our guest. No, don't oh. be our guest. Ah, oh. <laughs> no, suck the blah. <laughs> if anybody's French, they're like. Oh my God. You're you know, right. I will say that right now, that five years of French that I took in high school really clearly paid it off. It paid off in this moment. I mean, clearly. If I could do the tongue snap, I'd do it. I know. It. Where's the ghost now? Where's the tongue popping ghost now? He's probably French. Soccer blah! Stop <laughs> making fun of me! Ah, oh, looks so I was trying to do, but I, I was trying to do Italian accent when I was in, uh, in the UK with my friend Lindsay, and oh, I was dear. like, and I was, I was like, oh, spaghetti, the meatballs, the pasta, <laughs> ah, man, get a job. And then I was like Jamaican Italian. I was like, was that uh, accent sponsored by vodka, perhaps? No. No. No, it wasn't. That's the same. Oh thing. my gosh. Okay. I would have said yes. Who's your man crush? Well, I have to say the Marines in general because uh, I've done a couple. I did a show Shoot, in Santa Barbara. Uh, clean up, clean up in aisle nine. Yeah, I totally. Just, they just no, because they're though. doing Toys for Tots now, so they're they're going to a lot of shows and and raise what I men. Just, no, 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 I collecting just, toys for I children thought, in I thought uniforms. Tits instead of tots. Oh, tits for tots. <laughs> Girl, that's hey a good show. Hey guys, it's me, Samantha. <laughs> I've got toys for tits. <laughs> toys for tits. <laughs> well, they were really hot. The one guy was super hot. I was like, "Can I go ahead and donate myself?" Or and he was like, "No, ma'am. We only accept toys." I'm like, first of all, it's Miss." And second, if toys is your thing, I've got that too. Like, what do you want to do? They were just so. And then this one guy was talking to me after, and uh, he was like, "Do you want to come see my truck?" And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> Bad in my eyes and everything. Went out, and he's got this massive truck <laughs> full of toys, like full of toys. And then he put me in it, and he put his hat on me and everything. I have pictures. I'll show you. Thank you, Marines. You made me feel. You made me feel important at a gay club. You made my vagina feel valued at a gay club. And you were like, "Do you want to see my toy?" It's called a vagina. I whispered it just like that. I don't have any underwear on. <laughs> well, no, because he took them off. You can put it in my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then, and then, like. I've got three holes to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, actually, four holes, but don't put it in my pee hole. Well, oh. <laughs> Oh no! Things hurt. don't go up there. No. no, but I but I didn't want to get the number of holes wrong. <laughs> I'm glad that you're concerned with my anatomy. I'm concerned about your beehole. That is so nice of you. I know that you get a lot of UTIs. <laughs> I drink a lot of cranberry juice. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So we so. have two great guests on the show today. Um, he's been on Last Comic Standing, a lot of television, cruise ships, so everywhere, funny. you know, glory holes. <laughs> Brad, probably Brad right now. locally is here. And another funny guy slash girl. Lady. Lady. Sometimes a lady. Uh, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season six. Very, very hysterical. Bianca Del Rio. Is Never here. heard of her. What? What? Ah. <laughs> I can't so, wait. So um, we're going to play a little song uh, that <laughs> Bianca and Sherry Vine did together. I love Sherry. Oh, fantastic. And it's it's called Hot Mess. I think that's great for the <laughs> <Perfect>. show. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, ghoul. What's up, Hagatha Christie? Oh, how you doing, lady? And I do use that term loosely. Mm-hmm, just like your booty hole. <laughs> Don't even try it. You cannot imagine what I have been through. Well, I can tell from your face you've been struggling, bitch. Now, let me ask you something. Is everyone a mess? I know what this is a setup for. It's that roommate again of yours. Honey, let me tell you all about it. Oh, you're gonna sing? Mm-hmm. Damn. Listen, girl, I don't want to be mean, but your party antics have gone extreme. This morning I found you on the floor. You left your keys, bitch, in the door. I know it's your mom, lover or boss, but there's a line that you have crossed. So I got to tell you, and I stress, honey, you're a hot mess. Get it together, lady. So sad. Get away. Just trying to have fun Wanna dance to get my drink on I hear this noise A high-pitched sound My ears are bleeding As I turn around Oh look It's a bridal shower And they're all wearing A penis flower 
barefoot, falling down, half undressed. Miss Thing, you're a hot mess. M E mess. Google it, girl. Your picture will come up. Get away from that. Yay! Oh, we're back. Hot mess. With with uh, hot mess with Bianca Del Rio Did and you Sherry where you are for a No, second? I was like, what? Girl. What was the name of that song? Oh, that's what I am. <laughs> hot mess. Very fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you. Oh. Hey, there's your applause. There it is. It's, <laughs> oh. it's either applause or it's raining. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, well, except both. It's that's LA. Both. That's yeah, tin both. roof. Tin roof. <laughs> So f- funny guy, Brad Lopley. Yes, Thank you. Hey, and we met you? on um, we met on a cruise. We did. We, we did. were cruising we were, together. We were cruise partners. Yeah. Similar. We met Fair on enough. the dick deck. We, we, were, we did. <gasps> cruising, yeah. as always. Dick I was like, oh, God, you're <laughs> bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you, we'll just get off to a really disgusting start. I was just on another recent gay cruise and saw something on the public dick deck that I'd never heard before. I went up with um, another entertainer who will rename nameless. Courtney Act. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we literally heard applause from around the corner on Dick Deck. We literally heard. And I was like, oh my God, if someone's doing something, applause. This is going to be. We run around the corner. A man is fucking another man in the ass so hard and fast that it sounds. Oh, no. Oh. And Courtney and I stared at it and I was like, that is my, that literally is my everything. I just, <laughs> if well, someone could fuck me and I could hear applause. Oh, well, I'm actually oh shocked God. that Courtney even knew what applause sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. Well, we're friends. She's my sister. Yes. And, and well, it did sound like one person. Oh, clapping. so she's used so that, to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. In her mind. Well, yes. Bianca Del Rio is definitely here. Oh and she's in the building. Well, it's not like you asked me to be here to be nice. No. True. I did not. Winner, a winner of season 48. Six. Yeah, 48. <laughs> But now you're officially done. Like you gave up your crown, and now oh, you're pl- like, no, they actually gave you the crown. They let you keep oh, the you cheap ca- crown. Yeah, you crown. get to keep the crown. You get. I'm to used keep- to those old old school pageants where they're like, well, we're going to take they're the crown back. Like no, I got to keep it. Uh, it's in a box. Well, I had it out, like like in a. I've never actually worn the crown officially, you know, except this one yeah. time they stuck it on my head. But I had it sitting around my apartment, and Courtney Act actually came to my apartment, and then she put it on, and so the next time she came to my apartment, oh. it's in a glass box. Now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're so shady. Like, I didn't oh, want any dust God. to get <laughs> on it. Or under it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you get to keep it. But yeah, I'm done, done. You know, yeah. you, the people think people think it's like Miss America. Like you have some contract with them and you have to make this right. appearance. Right. You don't have any, they're like, bye. You were allowed to have a sex tape. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't have taken it away. No, You're completely they even, done. They don't care. No. I mean, like two weeks later, like two weeks after I went, I'm like, where's my money? And that was it. They sent the money and then that was it. So <laughs> They yeah. went, oh, right. oh, oh, oh. You yeah. mean that large check <laughs> yeah. doesn't Citibank? You, you can't put it in the ATM? I've Citibank? been wanting to do a video of me going to the Trying to cash it just to see what they say, but it's from World of oh Wonder. It's got to be good. <laughs> it's it's in, signed by RuPaul. <laughs> it's in large print. It's glitter. <laughs> <laughs> and you just finished up Rolodex of Hate. You're yeah. Just the last date, right? uh, yeah. I started last November, and I just ended in Oklahoma City, and then I have two more in England, only because they had to switch some venue dates. Okay. So I have my last two there. So yeah, it's been nine. It'll be ninety three. Performances of it, which was like, oh, I'm that's, done. Yeah, wow. that's great, though. No, but we've been yeah. everywhere, which is kind of wild, you know. You, you uh, Australia and Vienna and London and all over the U.S. places I never expected to visit. You know, Akron, Ohio. Who the fuck goes there? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck goes there? Uh, this uh, bitch. Uh, that's who <laughs> went. <laughs> was like, Let's do it. So it's been a wild ride, but yeah. So now I get a, a little bit of a break, you know, a week or two here just to kind of sort out my life and unpack the last few boxes I have now that I'm in Los Angeles. And you're like, what can I do? I'll come for this free radio yeah, yeah. show. Sure, no, but you, you asked me about it a while back and it worked yeah. out, so it's good. No, it did. I'm glad. Thank yeah. you. Thank you both for being on. Of course. I, no problem. Of course. I was, I was expecting to laugh today. I have. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't ask Courtney to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Exactly. <laughs> I love your owl impersonation. <laughs> 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 That's like a Lady Bunny owl. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> now, your Lady Bunny impression has to be the best one. That oh, I've, well, I've she well, she tells me I don't sound anything like her. Oh, and I'm no. like, but you know what she does? It's like, it's just that shit that she does to you. Does she, call, does she, have, your, does she have your phone number? 
You don't want her to have your phone number. <laughs> I I'm don't think saying, so. No, but she does. Like she will call you. She'll go, girl, <laughs> for like five minutes straight. <laughs> And you're like, what do you want? <laughs> Nothing, fag. Click. <laughs> you know, then you're just like, what, 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 what is it? Was it me, girl? Click. <laughs> she used to just write on my Facebook page, Dyke. Yeah, she loves to do that. Point. Now yeah. you know how I this feel. This sounds like Alec Mappa will call or text or message me as his ambience kicking in. Oh, oh. really? <laughs> and so I'll wake up to entire conversations that I didn't partake in. They're only <laughs> one side, side of bubbles, but he's clearly predicting my answers. <laughs> I love it. To these things. Oh. Or mad that I'm not responsible. Responding <laughs> faster when I haven't responded at all. Gotcha. And then I'll text him the next morning and be like, "Hey, did you Ambien? No, I mean, yeah, exactly. Ambien. That's excuse set done. <laughs> no, buddy denies that it's her, which is really funny because it's not like you have. I mean, there's nobody in my phone other than her that starts with lady. You know, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not friends with Gaga, so it's just like, <laughs> you're the only bitch I know, lady. Buddy. Do you have people as their real names in your phone, or do you have like? I you I just what? picture you like going cunt face. No, no, no. <laughs> or that no. would be. Every Everybody, no, right? no, it would be. It would be a very long list. Cut face one, cut face two. No, I put them in by drag names, and I know people are always like, "Oh, it's wrong, it's disrespectful." But I can't, like, I can't call Courtney God. Act Shane. Yeah. I can't call Adore Danny. It just doesn't. I would never remember. I'd be like, who I don't the know the who fuck they are. Is Shane. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know them like that. So, no, I have to put in their drag names, totally. Yeah, yeah. I change old boyfriends in my phone to be like, douchebag, loser, drummer. But, you but know? Are, you good, are you good with drummer. remembering which is which? Yeah. Because, I mean, eventually, if you're done with them, wouldn't they all be douchebags? <laughs> or is point. that... Yeah, I know. Well, I've made some mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Who in this room what? has a girl? <laughs> That's how we got in it this room. It wasn't on Five the dick deck, radio though, show. <laughs> <laughs> Wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> Pandora's fucking us. <laughs> Where's every, our applause now? Oh, oh every God. time any of us there see they are, there yeah. they are. <laughs> Anytime any of us sees each other from <laughs> now on it digs. <laughs> applause will now mean watching people fuck. That's it. It's it's actually oh. called the dick deck. Yeah. It's called dick deck or goo deck or deck thirteen. <gasps> Ooh, goo deck thirteen. Goo goo deck. Deck. Yeah, goo deck. That I know. sounds like a lesbian deck to me. <laughs> goo <laughs> deck. <laughs> the goo. Like. <laughs> it's the deck that during the day is usually for nude sunbathing, so crew don't go up there. Oh. So it's just never it's just like an open air deck. There's no bars, there's no events or anything, and at night it's dark. So it becomes the. And odd. people it's, have had a few. It's not official. Shows. Neither of the gay cruise lines sponsor it. <laughs> sure. It's not, just the known. There's not like a, yeah. It's just the known it's place not like to go. Dick deck sponsored by right. Wet gun oil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that would be a deal. You know, they had those little sanitizer things yeah. around. If yeah. they just had lube. I just used the sanitizer. Oh, okay. Ooh, right. Right. Oh, wow. oh. Oh. it kills ninety-seven percent. I was gonna say. It's, except that's it's the other few percent that we're really worried about. It's that's not. why you can't get applause because they're dick burning. Like, ah! <laughs> it goes in, never comes out. Like, if they were already putting their dick in me, they knew they were gonna have a bad experience. Oh well, it is dark, so yeah. I'm sure it happens a lot. Yeah. They weren't expecting you five stars on Yelp. <laughs> The nerve. Oh my god. Oh my, god. my so ass rude. has a five star rating on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> on the goo deck. <laughs> but you know someone will go and complain about it and try to get something for free. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that totally goes with the thing. I mean, when you're already when you're on a cruise ship going on a gay cruise, obviously you can't get dick in real life. That's why you're going on the cruise. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because like if, if I was with someone that I loved, the last thing I'd want to do is go on a fucking gay cruise with a bunch of fags. Well, yeah, but that works for the first five years of the relationship. I get, yeah. When, <laughs> but you can for the say, couples who are gotcha. 23 years in. It's good, yeah. They're like, it's a sexual walkabout. Yeah, they're gotcha. going on a, they're, they're hunting. <laughs> yeah, they're they're going hunting. Yeah. I'm going to need some side dick. Just, <laughs> just a little side dick. No, I know couples. Are, I mean, literally, you'll have couples on those cruises who'll be like, oh my God, Brad, we loved your show. We'll couple. We'll say, Brad, we loved your show. And um, I really want you to meet my husband. We're celebrating our 18th anniversary. Hold on one sec. And you look over and like Rick is on his Suck knees. Suck his dick. Don't you <laughs> Rick, stop sucking that dick. Come here, always the case. Come get a picture with Brad. And then he's like, oh, oh my, my God. God. I'm like, ah. And I'm trying not to die inside. I know exactly and look what you horrible. mean. horrible. And just be like, you're the reason we have no rights. No, I love you, though. Thank you. <laughs> but it's always like, you know, we've been together for 20 right. years. We've been together 30 years yeah. happily. And yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. And of course, the other one's trying to pass his number or his cabin to you. Yeah, cabin yeah. number to you in the middle oh, of the Oh, they all have vacant pre made cards for the cruises. They're oh, called I'll... cruise cards. And it's literally, it'll have nude photos of them as a couple. It'll no. say what they're into. It'll give their room <gasps> number. They have uh, nude photos? Yeah. I've never gotten oh. one of those cruise yeah. cards. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not I wouldn't know. I'm like, I don't need to 
car. car owner. My credit ain't good enough to get yeah. one of those oh cards. God. Harry Pinwheel, <laughs> looking back at you off that card. Oh, <laughs> oh nasty. My, well, like, speaking of assholes, <laughs> <laughs> great segue. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! It's time for the soapbox category. <laughs> category <laughs> in this passion. No, I don't know. Um, this is where we just talk about some the hot topics and assholes and. All right. Um, so Mark Rubio, presidential candidate. In, we'll put that in quotes. Yeah. yeah. Candidick. Candidick. Well, they're, and they're having another Republican debate today, yeah. which yeah. I'm like, another one? How yeah. many have there Why been? Why can't they debate each other to death in a duel and just <laughs> wipe <laughs> each other out? <laughs> Hunger Games. Games. Yeah. Yes, Hunger Games, Hunger Games, the Republicans. That would Everything. be good. Well, he says that if he uh, becomes president, he's, he will reverse Obama's LGBT executive orders and appoint anti-gay Supreme Court justices. And I'm just like, yeah. He's in an interview with the Christian uh, Broadcasting Well, Network. but the fun thing oh, of all of that is always, and it happens right now, uh, those are all words that don't actually connect to things that can be done. First of all, you can't appoint Supreme Court justices until one of them retires or dies. Right. In the, I mean, you could. They're all getting up there. But the idea of, like, I'm going to go in there and, and appoint. And change everything. No, he didn't. Marriage wasn't an executive order. It was a Supreme Court decision. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what right. are you really? You're saying all these words that sound political and legal so that, like, weird Christian fundamentalists will vote for you. But I'm like, you actually just said, I don't actually understand what the role of a president is. Correct. I didn't I watch Schoolhouse Rocks. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's just like, nope, that's not how it works. Totally. But if your idea of a fun afternoon is listening to the Christian Broadcasting Network, you're going to believe it. Right, exactly. Well, of course. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just going to sit down and have my popcorn. Everything I hear is right. <laughs> it's the Christian Broadcasting Network. My <laughs> la knit. I'm pussy just, cozy. I'm <laughs> just a pussy cozy. <laughs> For my pussy cats, because I've got 20. <laughs> oh, poor cats. But hairless, so they need, they need the a pussy, pussy cozy. cozy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think that they need to just do away with all of these debates. and just do, you, What we need to have is Judge mm. Judy as president and Susie, oh. Susie Ormond as <laughs> yes. vice president. Yeah. Talk about get this fucking oh. country together. It would not, I mean, I mean, Susie, girlfriend, you know, she would get it down. Deny. And, exactly. It's like, think about it. Everything she knows about financial stuff would make yeah. things better. And Judge yeah. Judy would just sit there and just tell Congress, go fuck themselves. You could have nations calling in to apply for American aid to <laughs> Susie Orman. Yes. We have shown you the financials showing that if we do this, the dynamic payback over. Mm, nope. Sorry. Sorry, sorry girlfriend. <laughs> no can do. Yeah. 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 It no. really would. I mean, because you know, these other people are just assholes when you think about it. There's yeah. really not one good one. I mean, Republican, obviously, there's no not one good one, but it's such yeah. a mess. I mean, I love Bernie, but I mean, he might drop dead before that. Yeah. <laughs> we've also turned yeah. it into yeah. idol. Like, we've turned, and that's the voters. Like, yeah. we've turned it into, we only like it if, on both sides of the party, like, we only like it if we can pit Bernie and Hillary against each right. other, even though most of their platform is extremely similar, just like when Hillary and Barack were running. Right. When, well, when they were having their actual debates they're like there's less than one percent of ideas it's just how we want to implement stuff but it's like no we want black <laughs> no no we, we want to kill her or kill him it's come on ruben stuttered yeah, yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> it's like night or day watching the debates because right. with the democrat you don't even hear anything about it because they're just acting like right you know, they're, no so they're like here's yeah. the they're your accountant they're what you should want in a president you're hiring Correct. someone to work for you right. right you want the person who's just going to call you and be like i need those receipts <laughs> yeah let's not just someone <laughs> who's like oh girl we were at the Club last night. I forgot Woo! to call you. No, <laughs> don't elect a president that you want to drunk dial you at two a.m. Oh God, no. Yeah, those are their friends that they're texting and text. You turn off your phone. You're like, Girl, okay, bye. Airplane. No, no can't airplane deal with her tonight. Can't listen to you. Bad connection. <laughs> I can't listen to you anymore, Darian. I'm bye. On the, I'm on the goo deck. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much applause. <laughs> 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 it. Sorry, gotta goober. Goober. Gotta go goober. Go, go, I can't go, even go. say it. Goober. I'm thinking about the goo deck, so I'm getting now oh. like, all excited. Well, you could probably still get a lift on the goo deck. I'm sure. Like, yes. <laughs> 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 I'm still thinking about what my cruise card would say. It'd be like vagina with a big X through it. No! <laughs> no, we, no we actually number you when you come on board. <gasps> oh the women God. are numbered in kind of an Auschwitz realness oh. kind of way. No. Um, yeah, but they is, are. They're is my gold star fabulous? <laughs> yes. We only, Littered. we okay. only. I mean, we'll only have 15, 20, 25 women, straight girls and lesbians come on the gay cruise. Uh -huh. So you're literally told the number, and the girls get into it. They're like, "I'm number twenty three. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They Oprah oh apparently. That uh, yeah. <laughs> was very Oprah. I'm twenty three. Do they hand them oh out to God. you? You get a girl, and <laughs> you get a girl, and you get a girl. Uh, 
We like embrace them in the hallways, but then make it very clear the areas they shouldn't go. Oh, like, right. don't follow. Like me. Gudak. Don't follow Nobody wants don't to act. Oh, no, I'll bring the girls up there. I usually do like a National Geographic tour where yeah. I literally <laughs> walk back through. But I'm like, you're not. This is something women should know about sex in general. Stop talking. Yeah, just, it's true. Because as soon as you get up there, I'm like, you're gonna have a hundred questions and about. But shut the fuck up. Just yeah. watch. Watch them in their habitat. Unsafe <laughs> choices with each just other. Just sit there and clap. Yeah, just sit just there and there. clap. That's all you need to do. Listen for the applause. Listen for the applause. <laughs> oh my God. I don't. Wow. Uh, that's what Gaga meant when she said she lives for the applause. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> for the applause, applause, applause. I like it's a cup tan. It makes a good sound. Oh my God. Well, it did look like there's a lot of goo on her face in that video. Whoa. <laughs> that's just your face. You know, you. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. She's melting. <laughs> She got a Golden Globe nomination. Woo, she did. Well, everybody gets a Golden Globe yeah. nomination. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Madonna won. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Madonna. <laughs> Madonna. No. One won. <laughs> one won. Yeah. For Evita, I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, they will give them off as one offs. Yeah, but yeah. they do break it up into everything. It's like, you know, uh, uh, best actress in a musical or comedy, and then right. there's like best actress in drama, whereas the Academy Awards right, is just, just best actress. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, so I mean, they get real specific. Sometimes they yeah. run out of comedy. She's and up for best right. vampiric yeah. woman in what should have been a drama, but is a <laughs> comedy. <laughs> exactly. In two parts. On Filmed the PBS. in Los Angeles. <laughs> West <laughs> Coast <laughs> edition. She is in an extended talkie of her music video. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. She really is. <laughs> She's good. She's good. An talking. The interlude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I have no transition for this. <laughs> Sorry. There's not, no, one. it's possible. Um, a 46 year old transgender woman oh begins god. a new life as a six year old girl. Um, <laughs> Caitlin's doing anything to get the press. <laughs> 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 like, fuck. Um, Still Republican. Oh, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Republican baby. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> She's left her family, uh, her wife and seven children, to begin a new life as a six-year-old, um, saying she doesn't want to be an adult right now. She was rejected by her wife for being transgendered. Um, Stephanie, it's pronounced Stephanie, but it's They're spelled named Steph, Steph yeah. Fawn, Nee, with uh, like a K-N-E-E. -E. Oh, jeez. Oh. Um, I, I sadly have a lot so of So she's, she's been LGs. adopted to. They're called uh, LGs, little girls. Um, <gasps> Yeah, it's a thing. Brace She's yourself. been adopted by a family. A straight family has her. And she I, wait, plays no, 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 yeah. no, no, yeah. no. How old is the family? How old is the mother and father of this family? I don't know, but they are no, older than she is. I mean, I'm just... No, they're older because they have uh, kids and grandkids. So now she plays with them as, as uh, Stefani. Mm. I don't know what to say about so this. So I, I, I don't either. T tell me about these LGs. Well, I, I, so uh, uh, you you remember it from the East Coast, Rainbow Mountain in mm -hmm. the Poconos, <laughs> which is uh, like like the gay resort. It's the resort in White Christmas if it was filled with weird fetish queens in the mountains. Like Deliverance and White Christmas. And where together. is this? Um, uh, Pocono Mountains. It's called okay, Rainbow okay, Mountain. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I still yeah, yeah. go there once a year to perform. They're lovely people. I've had some really I, inappropriate <laughs> sex there. <laughs> they do themed weekends all throughout the winter, and one of them has always been LG camp, little girl camp. Now, most of them are don't identify as transgender at all. Most of them are heterosexual men uh -huh. that wear diapers married, and things, who right? dress up like little girls in their free time. It's it's like leather or puppy play. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. I'd like drag. It's yeah. an escape to another part of your personality. Right. But they don't. It's non-sexual because they're little girls. Oh. So they're no, like, it's really. So it's not like pedophile. No, no, yeah. the whole, yeah. No, <laughs> the whole weekend is literally it. playing with Play-Doh and they don't go to the bar at night. They go to bed at nine o'clock because they're little girls. They don't drink alcohol. Oh, so it's more of a mind game. It's literally like okay. a release. This is the first time I've seen the combination of someone who's identifying as transgender oh. and LG. Yeah. Well, well she what, said to you, she's like, you know, we color, we do kid stuff. Yeah. She's like, I don't have, there's no medication. I don't have suicidal thoughts. I just get well, to play. Because my initial reaction was, I'm like, what the fuck? Right. But then I'm reading it and I'm like, well, I mean. Well, what was the time span between transitioning and becoming the baby? I mean, was it like a double whammy? <laughs> was it like, all right, I'm going to be a woman. Um, no, <laughs> I'm going to be a baby. <laughs> you know, that's... Well, his wife said stop being trans or leave. And he was like, well, I can't do that. But yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know what the. Yeah, I wonder I don't know what, what the, the right. time frame was. I mean, you know, because if he's been, now he's like, all right, I'm bored with being a lady for 20 years. Now I'm going to go ahead and be a baby. Right. You know what I mean? We all want to get younger, but uh, <laughs> right? I don't think that's the way to go. Usually we just go to a surgeon, but. Yeah. I don't wonder serious. if they're like supporting him now. Because, I mean, clearly, well, she, she's not old right. enough to work, so. <laughs> uh, in either direction, she's retired. Well, yeah. well, fuck that. I'm going to go ahead and become a baby. <laughs> Just a little bitter baby <laughs> clown. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck you. No, we still work babies in showbiz. You're just Shirley Temple yeah. Brown now. 
<laughs> Shirley Temple, very black. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Temple, blue. <laughs> that would be perfect. Whenever you're just in tired. Ten, in like, you know, like 10 years, you, yeah. then you're like, I'm six now, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Mary. <laughs> there was one little girl who would come to my show every year. And her name was Stephanie. Almost all the little girls were Stephanie, Stephanie Lynn, Stephanie Joe. So, yeah. I don't know why every old man huh. wants to be a little girl or named Tiffany. Stephanie. Yeah. So, and um, this Stephanie, hair, I mean, receded, receded hair that he would grow out on the sides and braid into pigtails. No. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have photos of me with Stephanie. Oh. Stephanie's the one little girl who would come to my show and she would drink at night because she would bring a note for me and a note <gasps> for the bartender from her mommy saying, oh. I know Stephanie's only six years old or seven or whatever it was. But, but she loves very, bourbon. She loves <laughs> bourbon. She's teething. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no mind to my daughter with that cigar. <laughs> It's like the Looney Tunes oh cartoon God. with the baby yes. gangster. Completely. Oh God, but totally. she would say she's very, she's only six, but she's very mature for her age. That so is... she can see the comedy show and she That's can That's a lot drink. of work. Yeah. I guess oh. people say that about drag, but I mean, that, yeah. that just seems And like... leather and, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. puppy play to me. No, but even most... that, I mean, it, not, not necessarily for me, but I mean, even with drag and even with puppy play, and stuff, I mean, there is that sexual side of it. Sure. So I just assume oh. these people dress like babies and wanted to be No, and... it's the so exact opposite. They want to return. I think it's especially for like the hetero identifying men. It's the idea of the exact opposite childhood, a perfect, pretty, you call it childhood with no responsibility. Now I'm fascinated. With yeah, no... because it's like when you're when you're a, a male in the right. society, it's so like uh, masculine. E- and even as a little yeah. boy, yeah. they were told you have to be a good, but you yeah. have to, you know, don't cry, don't blah blah blah, don't yeah. play, you know, like which is be a just boy. as much of act in right. as anything. So else. these Completely. now grown lawyers, doctors, plumbers are like, I want the idea of to what be a Stephanie. girl's. Tra- yeah, I want to. Ska- they built a playground for them on the no. property. Yeah, there's. Like I, I want to go. Now let's go. <laughs> let's work a show together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. no, I'm fascinated because I just assumed it was just somebody just like, all right, I'm dressed up like a like a girl, right. and then right. like at ten o'clock at night, I'm scratching my balls, <laughs> drinking, and watching the game. Yeah. But if that's that's yeah. that's commitment. they spend like a weekend just totally. So they're like Meryl Streep. Yeah. They're like into it. They're yeah. like <laughs> they're, they're method, method. They are method into it. Yeah. Wow. But what uh, kind of jokes do you do? They're like how, what kind of well, material did no, you do for a room full of forty year old? But no, they would bring me in because since the girls. Legos. Yeah, since the, girls, since the girls, I would just do a Wiggles concert. I would just, <laughs> Wiggles concert. They thought I was a Teletubby. You dressed up like uh, a Barney. Yeah. <laughs> so me, you. just like our purple. Yeah. Just um, no, the little girls wouldn't come except for Stephanie, so they would bring up acts oh, like me okay. to entice the local gays to come out that weekend. Because otherwise they wouldn't uh, come to the bar or come to the, 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 the resort because they'd be like, oh, it's the little girls, we'll give them their space. But they would go out of their way to be like, the little girls don't go to the nightclub down the hill and they're in bed by nine. Please come out. And That's fascinating. So I would have, and I would just tell stories because I'd be there all day. I'd come early just to watch yeah, the Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But far, some of them would start calling me Unky Brad. No. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh. This is my life. This That's is genius. how we make a living. That's this is how we make a living. This wow. is my tax return. I want to um, I, I should go. put Unky Brad as occupation on my tax return. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sounds perverted. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I would then talk to the local gays and be like, y'all, here's some shit that I saw today. That's genius. Yeah. Wow. I would kind of want to sit back Let's and go. go. They also do have this is so dark. I shouldn't be telling others. They have. Tell us about the 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 goo deck. The seesaw. The seesaw. One of the little girls died a couple years ago because she was like 70. And (laughs) so they have a memorial plate on the seesaw. No, I thought you were going to say broke it. (laughs) Um, Stephanie Stephanie was here. Stephanie put on some weight. (laughs) No, they have a memorial seesaw to Stephanie. She died so young. (laughs) I should (laughs) have. Imagine they put the date like 19. 2004 to 2015. Fucking Benjamin Button, girl. That's like all wrong. Poor or put the actual years like 1948 to 2015, but then just put age seven. Seven year old. <laughs> <laughs> Missed by mom, Dan. Uh, <laughs> oh. Stephanie has nine grandchildren to <laughs> survive her. <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie was a, a war veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie served in the Korean. <laughs> she was. She, <laughs> they bury her. They bury her in Arlington, and there's all little girls in black petticoats while guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh my God! I want to go to this place. I swear to God. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could you imagine we go there? You're dressed like a little. Girl, oh I'm your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, Let's do it. 
I can't oh, wow. read. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. <laughs> We'll always remember you, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have Stephanie's family here. <laughs> and now a story about a woman who bites the sto- a store employee after stealing a pair of underwear. And mm. she's not from Florida, because oh. usually when I have yeah, one of these so stories, Florida. it's always yeah. Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a New York woman oh. who was arrested in Vermont from a TJ Maxx for stealing a pair of $21.50. Yeah. Uh, $21 yeah, yeah, and Vermont, Vermont. Yeah. trust me, Vermont <laughs> is not... Not and she better. bit him after she was uh, trying to leave the store, and the and the empl- the security tried to pull it out of her uh, purse, and uh-huh. she bit him. I don't know why, but I kind of um, just imagine her being a Muppet. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, mean, she, I mean, are the drawers, are the underwear that good? I, I mean, know, they I, were twenty one dollars and fifty cents. For a pair know. of underwear? A TJ Maxx. That's pretty pricey, though. I mean, what kind of fancy? Well, ladies. ladies right. They're going to say it's underwear, but it was probably a fucking negligee or something. Or it's I was probably say, like an arrow on it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's just, mm. I, I read today, speaking of crazy things, I read today that there was a woman that put, and I, I've never experienced this, but she said a can of cookie dough in her vagina and it exploded. <gasps> I just, which yeah, I've heard can. a can of biscuits, but I've yeah. never heard of a can of cookie dough. It but when I saw the mugshot, I was like, she looked like she put something up there. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, that's really wanting some cookies. But who would want the yeah. cookies after? Like, Mom, where'd you get these cookies? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, probably Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> this cookie's iced. <laughs> there's a little extra. <gasps> there's a little extra yeast, but it's all right. <laughs> they <laughs> rose really <laughs> high, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> They're a layer cake oh now. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> well, speaking of that story, we do have one segment uh, that's called what? What? Oh, music cue. What? What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I switched you quickly into it. And it, along the same lines is that there's a Christian shrink that um, oh. is getting four years in jail for having patients uh, suck her boobs because that was part of therapy that she would have them. She would manipulate them into, into sex acts, like regressing back into childhood. Oh. And she's, uh, you know, getting mother to lactate. And she would said, says, baby wants some milk and then would insert her breasts into the victim's mm-hmm. mouth. Urging her to suckle it. Well, how old were these victims, and how many victims Grown were that stupid adults? to do it? They were seven-year-old, forty-six-year-old. Oh, <laughs> Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie Smith, Stephanie Jones, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Stephanie yeah. Williams. Well, she calls herself an ex-Christian cult leader. I'm like, seriously, well, that like, well, when you call yourself a cult, yeah. leader. that don't work. Yeah. That don't work. Yeah, I'm like, I'll take the Kool-Aid. Thank but wasn't you. there wasn't there a pastor that was doing the same thing about uh, women sucking his dick? Yeah, and it was like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that whatever. It came like, out of him yeah. would holy yeah like holy come yeah oh. yeah my my holy come that would come to Jesus really mean that's really sad <laughs> wow. really you need to come to Jesus <laughs> no I don't thank you very much Jesus uh, came to me <laughs> thank you <laughs> I thought that's what I did on the goo dad yeah. <laughs> I'm so saved but I mean I, I, ten I, times you know what's funny I won't even I won't even question that priest and I won't question this crazy woman I'm gonna I, who, the people who did it part right. of the, like yeah. if, I mean yeah. I've been to a therapist obviously it didn't right. work but I've been to a therapist <laughs> and the two things happen. You pay some person to look interested as you talk, and right. then they prescribe you pills. Right. That's right. the deal. Right. You know what I mean? Well, the difference yeah. is that this was Christian therapy. No, but which if your is, tits yeah. were full of Vicodin, I'd yeah. have been sucking. <laughs> <second. laughs> <laughs> well, Butrin well, would but be you've already If you're going to a Christian therapist, you've already believed that a talking snake <laughs> told a woman who was made out of a rib <laughs> to eat an apple. <laughs> you already believe that a magical <laughs> Jewish zombie rose from the dead so that <laughs> forgive you for eating shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Friday. So, so yeah. y- going to you have a mommy issue. Why don't you suckle on my teeth? I just seems <laughs> rather every day. What were her rates? I wonder. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> wait, was it covered by in Obamacare? Yeah. Probably. Was this a copay? Did Can they, you imagine? Well, these crazy stories you never read. Um, you know, atheist shrink like no. 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 somebody right. in the doing this. Right. <laughs> no, it's always some good religious bitch right. doing the work of the Lord. Someone shut my tit. Yeah. Feel better? Yeah. There's no. A- there's no atheist who's like, hey, there's no God, and that no God told you me to tell you to suck my dick and not tell your parents. <laughs> well, the creepiest thing was she would say, it's going to bring out your inner child, and then she would say, How, would you like some of mummy's milk? Oh, I don't understand And that. she, I, yeah. this is you the same what? thing she's I She's a looker. She's an <laughs> older, <laughs> she's you know an I, older woman. All this is is fucking white people. Yeah. This is white people <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is white people doing that so shit. So true. Not us. She was, she was real white. Not us. Oh. She, was, she was very. We no. robbing and killing. That's yeah. what we're doing. We're not doing and mm-hmm. at least if you do crazy religions, it's like sangria. Yeah. And <laughs> we, light, we light a candle and yeah, kill a chicken. Yeah, yeah it's a little different. Yeah. 
chalk marks everywhere. It's fun. Oh, man. Uh, she was pretty old. Probably came out as powder anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Powdered milk. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Once you get past the curd, <laughs> you get to the real. Stir quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Make a paste. <laughs> hey, oh. Oh, um, well, that's a great note to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> sure, well, Make a pace. Well, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I love it. I, I think you guys, oh. I've had such a great time on the show. Oh, thank you guys God. for well, doing thank you. the show. Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. And now it's like some shameless self-promotion. So, Brad, locally, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me uh, every week on True TV World's Dumbest. You can, uh, my book, My Big Gay Life, A Fairy's Tale, comes out uh, in early 2016. So just go to bradlocally.com. And I'm Brad Locally on all the bullshit social media. You can find me there. Yeah. And Bianca Del Rio, where can we find you? Well, on social media, I am B Bianca Del Rio on Instagram and on Twitter. And I currently have my show, Rolodex of Hate, available on Vimeo. And I believe it's vimeo.com slash Rolodex. You can either rent it or buy it, whatever Ooh. you like. Uh, and I said I have these two last dates in England, and then um, I'm back on the road again. I'll be doing a show with uh, Lady Bunny, Sherry Vine, Ooh, yeah. and Jackie Beat uh, called National Treasures, which we're starting in London. And then I go back on tour again starting in May in Australia, and then the U.S. tour starting in uh, September. So I'm excited. Fabulous. Oh, and Brad and I are going to be working together in... Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, in uh, uh, Aspen Gay Ski Week yes. for uh, Logo. We're, yes. uh, we're filming a... a TV a special, yeah. yeah for for Logo. I know. Fags Probably. and Snow. That'll That's be in <laughs> February. January. Gen January. It's January. It's in January. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it airs the end. So of there'll January. be like the goo closet because it's cold. Yes, Well, at that point, we're all just fucking and blowing each other for warmth. It's to stay alive. And my lovely co-host, Samantha Hale. Where can we find you? Well, you can find me on the dick deck taking notes so I can explain it to straight men. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what you want to hear. That's, yeah. That's what you want to hear. That's the sweet spot. <laughs> and um, uh, at the Samantha Hale on Twitter and Instagram. Lovely. And Pandora Box, because it's my show. And that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me at PandoraBox.com. There's two X's in box because the extra X marks the spot. Oh. 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 On the goo tech or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, audience. Here they are. In the future, talk radio.